Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. We are at war. This is legendary comedian Cat Williams. In a recent interview with Shannon Sharp, Hall of Fame NFL player, it got real fast. This is the part where he talks about other famous comedians and how the Hollywood system works. But this is only a sample of what the world is like. He said a lot, but I want to talk about only three things. If you are a Christian, you need to wake up. Cat said it plain. There was God's side and the devil's side. This is not a game. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high. There is no grey area. Stop trying to be a Christian and live in the grey zone. Choose your side. Knowing we are in a war is not enough. Dress for the occasion. The Bible doesn't tell you this is a war and then leave you like that. The next five verses talk about the full armor of God that you need to put on, not only to survive, but to thrive. The reason you keep losing is because you're not awake and you're not armed. This is not about physical weapons. Governments can take all your weapons and you can still be the most powerful person because what God can do with you is far greater and more powerful than nuclear weapons. There's a reason many Christians spend life listening to lies instead of speaking truth. There's a reason you are shown sin left, right and centre instead of how to live a righteous life. There's a reason you don't have peace but anxiety and stress. There's a reason faith gets destroyed for many and they're not living and fruitful. There's a reason your mind gets focused on gossip and social media and not Jesus all day. And there's a reason you are powerless and not victorious in everything that you do. It's because you're asleep and not using your armour. Wake up. We are at war. The moment you start living life aware of the fact you are in a war, everything must change. The devil doesn't want you to have peace. He doesn't want you to have faith. Do you think the devil wants a Christian who walks in truth to get wealth? The only way for those things to happen is if you follow God's word and get those things the way he tells you to. Because if you don't, you are compromised. Don't think for a second you're not valuable or important. You're not little old you, you are a child of the king. The enemy is coming for you. He's already here and it's not too late to turn things around. But you must start living by God's word or you are doomed. Don't you know what wrestling against spiritual powers means? It means there's wicked spirits sent by the devil. They get sent to wreak havoc in schools. That's why they remove the Bibles and send in programs for you to accept the alphabet community as genuine science. B, G, L, T. They want our children confused. They get sent to start chaos in entertainment. This is why rappers talk about murder and lying down with loads of women all the time. And that's why you have singers doing witchcraft. Every TV show you watch, someone is taking your Lord's name in vain because you won't do anything about it. Because you're asleep. When Christians won't wake up, the devil roars louder. But you need to wake up. The devil cannot defeat you. He knows it. He can only scare you into doing nothing. So that's what he does. You might be afraid, but God's word shows you exactly how to overcome all fear. God's word has got you covered on all fronts. But notice the question Shannon Sharp asks. It's an important question. I know you're thinking. It's something to think about, yes, because they will try to counsel you. But listen to the answer Cat gives. Because once the fear is gone, it's game over for the devil. And he knows it. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What powerful do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. The Bible says in James chapter 1, the demons believe and tremble. Every time a demon saw Jesus, they were afraid. The devil sends people to attack you and they're scared of when you wake up and realize you are stronger than them. Imagine Dwayne Johnson, the rock, scared of a small puppy. We would look at him like he's crazy. This is what it's like when you as a Christian are afraid to follow God for fear of getting cancelled. Pilate said to Jesus before he got crucified, Don't you know that I have the power to crucify you or let you go? But Jesus checked him fast. There is no power given to you except what my father allows. So there is no need to be afraid. The more you walk with God, the less power the enemy has over you. You will get to the place God wants you to get to. This is why Jesus was not worried and you shouldn't be too. But this is where many Christians fell. If he cannot get you by keeping you asleep or scaring you, the next thing is money. Listen to what Kat says here. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. 
They tell you that themselves. This is why the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. It's not because riches are evil. Many of God's people in the Bible had wealth. It's because when you go after money more than people, you will sell out for riches. This is why we have men wearing dresses in Hollywood. This is why women in Hollywood dress like they don't respect themselves. And this is why many famous Christians are afraid to mention Jesus. The money they are afraid to lose is greater than the fear they have for God. Wake up. God is on your side and you have nothing to fear. And God has all the money that you will ever need. Decide your side and enjoy the ride. God bless.